Hello, hello, it's Alicia Brown, and I am the CEO of Fruition Publishing Concierge Services. Nice little uh, logo in the background. But so you've decided that you want to write a book, or perhaps you've already written a book. Now what? Well, I can tell you this. Most people that contact us are so concerned about having a fabulous book. They want to ensure that it's perfectly written, it's positioned properly for book sales, and they want to make a whole bunch of money. And I can tell you that you're already starting the game completely wrong. Now, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to make money off of your book. I mean, because let's be real. In order for you to maximize your message, that book needs to get in the hands of a lot of people. The message needs to be seen by a lot of people. But here is where you're going completely wrong, but it's okay because we can help you regardless of what point you're at. Many people are so focused on the content. They're focused on writing the book and finishing the book. But any truly successful author will tell you that completing the book is where the real work begins. It's the real work that begins after that. So it's not always about having the most perfectly written book with the best English diction that's going to guarantee your success. If nothing else, it won't. Because what's most important, which is why I have something called the author's roadmap, which is why I have things in our company called um, author's strategy sessions. So if you come to me before you write your book and you just know I have a book idea, I'm sort of thinking about writing the book, you're really going to be a blessed person because before you can get too deep into it, I guide you every step of the way with my customized programs. Because the thing is, for a book to really be effective, one of the keys is that you have to know who you're writing to. And you have to know what solution your book solves. Every book creates a solution for the reader. Now, I'm not saying you're like... um you know, computers for dummy or Microsoft Word for dummy, that's your book. You know, obviously I know what creation, what solution you're creating. Your book, that topic is for people that don't know how I use Microsoft Word. It's obvious in that title, but it may not be so obvious to you how your book concept has a solution for your reader. And if you don't know that before you write it, if you don't know that after you've completed it, then when you go to promote it, when you go to talk about it, when you go to sell it, you're going to be ineffective because you're thinking anyone that reads this book, it's going to tr transform their life. Anyone will read this book and it's going to do all these great things. Everyone doesn't need to read your book because it should not be written for everybody. No one book fits everybody. And the solution your book offer, now that you know that every book is supposed to offer a solution, the solution you offer isn't effective for everybody. It's not even desired by everybody. Why? Because that's not everybody's problem. You know, I don't need Microsoft Word for dummies. I have intermediate to advanced technical skills. I have some training to be, you know, as a computer programmer. So I'm the least person that would need a Microsoft Word for dummies. Now, if you had an Apple for dummies, I might take that because I just switched over to Apple products. So, you know, even with that, though, it's real easy. It was easier for me to migrate over because I have technical prowess. So, you know, some things you would be pitching me on those topics, not very helpful for me. But I do have clients it would be exquisite for because that's their problem zone. They need someone to help them with that. So every book creates a great, uh, uh, creates a solution. And for a book to really be effective and for you to maximize your profit, it has to be positioned well. That's what a lot of publishers won't teach you. Actually, that's what a lot of publishers won't even do for you. And I'm talking about some of those big five that you pay, ooh, five, six figures to, okay? So I wanted to come to you today to say, you know, if you've written a book, are you in the process of writing a book and you need help 
We're here to help you at Fruition Publishing Concierge Services. Because one of the things as the CEO, I always tell my clients, it's not a win for us until it's a win for you. And we work for you. We're working to serve you. We're working to ensure your success. Now you have to do the work. We can guide you all we want to. You have to do the work but we're here for your success. I've spent a great part of today um, actually pitching for our clients. So I've this is week three being in front of national media. I've been in front of the TV show executives, some mainstream media outlets um, that you know well, have been doing that for the better part of a year, CNN and um, you know, different news channels and things like that. Talked with some of the executive producers from um, the Today Show. Um, from just, you know, just different media outlets, Tamara Hall show. That's the type of publisher I am because as wonderful it is for you to have that great book. You know, one of the things I also pride ourselves on, or I'll just say me because I'm the CEO that drives that and I'm very hands-on with you, is that I teach our clients how not just to have a book because what is going to make you the most profitable is the book platform. It's what's attached to that platform. I'm always preaching to my clients. Books are the low-hanging fruit. So if all you're thinking about is a book, what else do you have? And if you hire me, you're not going to just think about a book anymore, okay? I have my, my clients, especially our recent ones in the past year or so, they have course curriculums. They have cur courses that they teach to the uh, regular public. They also have courses to the university level, some of them. I have clients who are now nonprofit executives. You know, I'm a person that has taken that book platform from when I initially started in self-publishing and I have worked that to a full media platform. I'm a managing editor for magazines. I'm a celebrity interviewer and writer. Um, I am also a nonprofit executive and I write grants. I do small business consulting. I have a lot of things in my wheelhouse where those doors opened only from me publishing my first book and then expanding it to other books that I uh, publish. So I'm well-versed in this game. I may be new to you, but I'm not new to this. So there's so many different things, even from the legal side. And I'll close on that note, because one thing people don't understand, you have this book concept, but your book, your words, your thoughts, your ideas, they are intellectual property. So when you tell me you want to submit a transcript, one of the first things I'm going to advise you of is here's a link for a non-disclosure agreement. Our company is very legal because we have seen how people have come to us from people that were not credible. And if that has been your problem where someone ripped you off or you, you had this author's consultant or pseudo publishing company, let me just help you because I've been there. You don't know what you don't know. And you're hiring people that say they know to handle it for you. But what I want to encourage you as a publisher and from my expertise, your words are intellectual property. And if they're not the correct legal documents in place, and if you're playing with someone who is a novice, although they have paid to have the name publisher in front of them, you might be setting yourself up for a multi-million dollar lawsuit. I have had to initiate meetings for new clients to go back to those people and get them to contractually reverse their rights. In some cases, I've had them refund money. But more importantly, what I went after is reverse your rights. Because although you cease to do business with them anymore, if you don't have those contracts in place and get them to reverse the rights to what they have, it can bite you in the butt later. I have had people who have scammed these clients and will sit up here and try to use their logo and their messaging on accounts and things like that so they can look like we're still selling for them. And of course, the public doesn't know. They see a picture with you. You worked with that person, blase, blase. They don't know that you guys no longer work together. So they're collecting money using your logo and the, your likeness for something that you created. And they'll continue to do that. And the only legal rights you have is if you have certain contracts in place. So we handle things like that on your behalf. And a lot of times when I've looked at those books they put out for you, I'll tell you, oh, no, sweetheart, you may be contacting my publishing company to redo this for you, but I'm going to tell you what we have to do now. So we've had to have complete illustrations redone because I've seen trademark infringements. 
I've seen things that legally would cause a liability suit against you. And let me tell you, people say, well, you know, you're small. Those big name brands won't come after you. Do not fool yourself. You don't know who knows who or how that book gets in that person's hand. And then you're slapped with a multi-million dollar lawsuit. And these companies have the lawyers on, they already pay them to do just this. You do not. So even if they don't win, the money that it costs you to defend yourself and your business and your brand could actually close your business. And many of you as authors are not legally structured properly. So they will personally sue you because guess what? No one told you about how you have to be legally structured as an author. You thought you just wrote a book. Having a book is a business. So business-wise, you have to make sure you're legally protected as well as legally structured where you're getting advantages. So that's one thing is fruition publishing. We help you with all that. We look at all those things with you. We help you. We walk you through that process because we want your success beyond just a simple book. We want to help you position that book for greatness, not just have a book concept and it's cute. Because I tell people, if you're just focused on a cute book, honey, cute books are on coffee tables and on uh, bookshelves collecting dust. A lot of people have cute books in the trunk of their car they haven't sold yet. I don't want that for you. I want you to be able to position your book that gives you the lifestyle of your dreams and beyond. And we help you do that every day, all day at Fruition Publishing Concierge Services. So you wrote a book, you're thinking about writing a book, or maybe you already published a book, but you're looking to really maximize your message and monetize your expertise, then give us a call. The website's right there, fruitionpublishing.com. I am your CEO, Alicia Brown of Alicia Brown LLC. We would love to work for you. I look forward to hearing from you, from you soon. Have a wonderful day and be prosperous and effective, not busy. Bye-bye for now.